The man, Nor, could never have imagined that despite having only one skill, counter, he might possess the potential to become the greatest adventurer. He practiced with a wooden sword, and within a year, he could deflect over ten wooden rods simultaneously. Three more years passed, and he evolved from deflecting ten rods to a hundred. After a decade, he unwittingly reached the ability to parry thousands of rods at once. Yet Noor was completely unaware of his own strength. The sword technique he had honed over the years was considered the most rudimentary form of parrying, a skill everyone knew. Orphaned from a young age, he could only live at the bottom of society. This led Noor, who believed himself to be weak, to spend his days doing menial labor or helping neighbors find their lost cats, oblivious to the fact that his abilities had already surpassed those of the legendary sword saints. However, during an unexpected event, he accidentally unlocked his potential. What was thought to be a useless skill suddenly proved immensely powerful, allowing him to instantly kill the Minotaur King, a creature even the kingdom's nobility feared, right before everyone's eyes. In this era where adventurers were ranked, Noor was placed at the very lowest, F-level. This was due to a special training facility known as the Training Ground, where people could choose from six different professions. Surprisingly, after undergoing training in all available professions, Noor failed to learn any skills deemed essential for adventurers, leading the Training Ground to categorize him as the weakest, F-level. Despite this, Noor did not give up entirely. He humbly pleaded with the Guildmaster, hoping to be granted the title of adventurer. Fortunately, the Guildmaster agreed to his request and occasionally provided him with some tasks to sustain his life. Gradually, Noor discovered that aside from his defensive skills, which were deemed useless, other abilities could subtly change his life. For instance, the strength enhancement skill he learned at the warrior training facility allowed him to carry goods five times heavier than usual. Or the minor healing skill, considered so low level that it wouldn't even be used on dogs, helped alleviate his fatigue with continued use. Though he knew these skills were not practiced as diligently as his parrying, they always managed to help him at critical moments. Soon, Noor's task for the day was also drawing to a close. After his usual refusal of the supervisor's joking offer, he planned to head home to continue training his parrying skill. However, just as he was leaving, he caught a glimpse of a faint beam of light not far away. Someone was shouting for help, and at the same time, a gigantic bull appeared. Several royal guards were engaging it head-on, but they were no match for the Minotaur King and were swiftly cut down by its giant axe. Nor saw a girl in imminent danger and decisively used his stone-throwing skill. He hadn't thought to defeat the monster with this skill, merely hoping to divert its attention. Fortunately, the ploy worked, and the Minotaur King turned its focus to him. Just as the girl thought Nor was doomed, he cleverly dodged the attack, realizing that the enemy's strikes were not only heavy, but also fast. Even though he could parry, his sword was nearly knocked out of his hand. Nor didn't know how many times he could deflect such attacks, so he needed to find an opportunity to counterattack. It was then that Nor suddenly realized he didn't have any skills for counterattacking. What was he to do? Suddenly, Noor's thoughts were interrupted by the Minotaur King's next attack, which was aimed at the very spot where the girl was standing. Using his strength enhancement at the last moment and a parry, the cost was his sword being shattered. Was he going to die here? As he looked at the broken sword in his hand and used his parry, the weapon he deflected decapitated the monster. Noor had reached his limit, and he doubted himself. Despite years of training, he was left in such a sorry state by a mere town's bull. How could he possibly adventure around the world? The girl witnessed this scene, and just as she was preparing to thank him, Noor had disappeared without a trace. Looking at his trembling hands, Noor knew he needed more training.